Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a full day of cleaning. I had a lot of things on my to-do list today and usually my videos end up being like several days of cleaning. But since I had so much to do this day and actually had a good bit of time to do it, I decided I would take you guys along with me for an entire day of cleaning and just show you what I get done and hopefully it gives you tons of cleaning motivation. So today I'm starting with making my bed just to get that off of my checklist. It was a really quick thing that I needed to do and I'm just going to tidy up in here. I'm not actually cleaning in here because I have some other spaces that definitely need more attention today. Now, as you can see, my office is a huge wreck and I'm gonna come back in here and actually clean this a little bit later. But for right now, I'm just opening up this new vacuum that I got from Musu and I'm gonna share this with you in a little bit, but I wanted to go ahead and pull it out of the box, put it on the charger so that way it could get a full charge before I started using it. And most of you know that my Dyson V7 quit working a few months ago. So when Musu reached out to me and asked if I would want to try their their cordless vacuum I actually asked a few friends who had them and I also researched on YouTube and a lot of people were actually comparing this model to the Dyson V7 so I of course wanted to try it out I love having a cordless vacuum for like quick cleanups and stuff like that so I will tell you my full review on this vacuum in just a few minutes all right so I was having a really hard time getting this canister on. So let me show you to, if you get this vacuum. So this is the little filter. You put it in and you twist it, okay? But I was having a hard time because I think it was originally this little filter part was not in there right. So it would not click in and I was having so much trouble. So basically, if you have the canister in there the right way, then it's easy. You just stick it on and it'll slide right in and then you twist it and it just kind of clicks in. So you're good to go. So just in case you want this vacuum after I show you how it all works, you're going to need to know that. So, all right, I'm going to charge this. I feel like I accidentally turned it on earlier and the charge it's a little bit charged but i want to make sure that it gets completely charged before i use it the first time all right so now that i have all of the vacuum put together i'm going to go stick it on the charger really quick and let it completely charge before i start using it while you are up in space i sit here by myself Now, while this is charging, I'm going to head into the kitchen, but I promise I'll be back to clean this mess a little bit later. I actually had my friend Stephanie coming over on this day and she was gonna help me decorate my bookshelves. She is an interior designer here in Savannah and we love doing projects together. She just started a YouTube channel not too long ago, so she's gonna help me decorate my bookshelves and I wanted to hurry up and get the rest of the house clean before she got here. Now, really quick, I wanted to talk about something that I get asked about a ton. I always get asked whether my kids do chores or not, and also if my husband helps out around the house, and the answer to both of those questions is yes. I actually just shared in a video last week over on my Team Darley channel all about the chore chart that we're using that I just created a few weeks ago. Now, they've been making their beds every single morning and then they'll do chores every now and then like me asking them but we just started this new chore chart where they're actually getting their allowance each week and i say allowance but it's more like they're getting paid what they've earned each week and so i fully explain our chore chart and everything in that video so i'll leave a link for that video in case you want to see what chore chart we're using 
I also made a free printable in case you want to print it out and put your kids chores on there as well and it just re works really really good I also have fines on there so they get fined for certain things and then they also get bonus checks so if you want to see how we do chores go check that video out um, also a lot of times you're going to see me doing some of the things that they might normally do in my videos but my cleaning videos are for me, for me to make and not for them but sometimes I do include them it's just most of the time it's easier for me to do a cleaning video without them and yes my husband also helps out majority of the stuff that he does is outside of the house and then he also helps a lot with like cooking dinner and cleaning up after dinner but like I said, when I'm doing a cleaning video, it's mainly for you guys to see cleaning motivation from me because this is my channel and not my kids and not my husband. Now I'm just gonna use an e-cloth and some hot water and I'm gonna wipe down our breakfast table and our kitchen counters since I was trying to do a little bit of speed cleaning on this day. So now that my vacuum is fully charged, I'm going to go ahead and use it here. And the vacuum that I ended up getting was the Musu 17 KPA Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. This vacuum is super lightweight, so it makes it really easy to pull out when you want to clean up a quick mess and you don't want to get out your big vacuum with your cord and all of that. So I love that. I love the fact that my kids can actually use this without it being too heavy for them. And I don't have to worry about my kids messing with the cord while using this one either. This vacuum also has two modes. So it has regular mode and then it has a max mode. And so all you have to do is just push the button once to turn on regular mode. And then you push the button twice to turn on max mode. And you do not have to hold down the trigger with this vacuum. I know some other cordless vacuums you have to actually hold the trigger down the entire time. And this one you do not. So I love that feature. Now when the vacuum is fully charged, then it'll actually last for about 30 minutes on the regular cleaning mode and then 15 minutes on the max mode. So I feel like this is such a good vacuum for daily cleaning, your everyday messes and things like that. I don't know if you guys have been following me for a while, but I have a dog named Cooper and he sheds really bad. So we have three areas in our home that we feel like we are constantly either vacuuming or sweeping, which is the kitchen, our bedroom, and also our bathroom. So this is definitely gonna make it a little bit easier for those everyday messes. Now, once the canister is full on the vacuum, then all you do is pull it straight off and dump it into the trash can, and then you can hook it back up to your vacuum and either continue your vacuuming or go put it on the charger. Now, if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive vacuum, then definitely check this one out. I'm gonna have a link to this one in the description box, and they also gave me a 15% off coupon code for you to use. It's just Amy15 at checkout. And thank you so much for Musu for partnering with me on today's video. All right, so now I'm giving you a really quick look at our built-ins because I'm about to take all of this stuff down. I'm gonna clean off all of our bookshelves, and then my friend, Stephanie is going to come over in a little while and actually help me decorate these and I'm not going to share that in this video because I felt like that would be a great video for her to share on her channel. So she's going to be sharing how she decorates my bookshelves. She's actually going to share like the shop with me and then how she decorates and all of that. So if you want to see how these turn out, then definitely go check out her channel. I'll have a link to her channel down in the description box. Understand that we get.
All right, so now I've pulled off all of my decor and this is all the stuff that was up there. And Stephanie actually went shopping at Home Goods, Target, Hobby Lobby, and TJ Maxx and came up, came back with a bunch of stuff. So we ended up using some of my things to decorate the bookshelves and then we also used some of the things that she found. So she'll be sharing that in her videos as well and I'm sorry to keep you guys hanging but I really felt like this would be such a fun video for her to do on her channel and she's such a good friend and I know you guys are going to love her. So. I just thought it would be fun for us to do this together. Now here I'm just finishing up with wiping down the cabinets as well and then I'm going to wipe down the baseboards. But I wanted to take a second to ask you guys down in the comments I want you to let me know would you rather see the garage organization first because our garage is a huge mess and we are ready to clean out and declutter and organize in there. And I think that we have pretty much everything we need to do that. or would you rather see the kitchen organization video first? Because I bought a bunch of stuff off of Amazon that I want to organize my kitchen, reorganize because some things just aren't working. And so I wanna reorganize that space as well. So y'all vote below, let me know, do you wanna see the kitchen organization first or the garage organization first? Now here I'm just going to do a quick vacuum in my room since the vacuum was charged and then I'm going to go into the office and finally clean up that big mess in there. So this is real life and I feel like I thought when we decorated this room that we would keep this room so much cleaner and so much more organized, but this ends up being where I end up throwing all of our boxes that we open and the kids come in here and sometimes they'll hang out in here while I'm doing something in the living room and maybe they're on the computer or listening to music and then sometimes Gracie June even gets on the computer and will make little videos of herself playing with her toys. So this room becomes a disaster quite often and I don't feel like I show it a lot in my videos and maybe it's because I'm just putting off cleaning this room all the time or maybe it's because I always have packages in here that need to still be opened. But either way, I'm finally showing it with sharing it with you and you get to get a little bit of cleaning motivation for your office today. So there in those packages are some of the things that I was saying I bought from Amazon for the kitchen and I'm just so eager to get in there and get everything organized and I hope that all of these things work out because I definitely haven't tried them yet. But I know that that's a big project and I just can't wait to have my kitchen organized the way that I am visualizing in my head. We break down, caving in to our doubts, faces filled with sadness. When we're
Now here on the desk area, I have a bunch of stuff that I printed off for the kids to do. So I'm gonna organize all of that stuff and put it away. And then you can see Gracie June's been sitting at the desk coloring. And so I'm gonna put all of that with her arts and craft stuff. And then I also have my YouTube play button that still has been in my package and Chance is gonna actually put it on the wall today. Okay, as I was cleaning, I got a little distracted and I saw that our chair had a few marks on it. I think it's just black marker. So I also noticed a few fuzzies and pulled out the little fabric shaver that I shared in my video last week. And I love this thing. So I'm just gonna shave the fabric a little bit, make sure to get all those fuzzies off. And then I'm actually gonna try to get those stains out or the marker out. I don't know that I would call it stains, but I'm gonna try to get the marker out. So for the marker, I'm using this Rocco and Roxy Stain and Odor Eliminator, and this is what I used on my carpets at the front door, and I felt like it did a really good job at doing some spot cleaning, so I wanted to try it here on this chair. And you're gonna see, I scrub and scrub this thing, and I do feel like it ended up getting the mark out, but that specific area right here that I'm doing, I felt like it looked a lot lighter, more of like a whiter color than the rest of the fabric when I was done. And I don't know if I just need to go back and like re-wet it with water or something. Y'all let me know if you have any tips or if this has happened with your spot remover or anything. I felt like the one on the bottom was fine, but maybe I didn't spray it as much. So maybe this is a fail. But I do feel like this worked really, really well on my carpets in my bedroom and the rug at the front door. All for your baby keeps crying, but the city's getting crowded. Hurts every time. You say you'll be mine. We're gonna get out. So since I'm filming this video, I decided to go ahead and finally change this calendar from March to June. That's how long it's been since I changed the calendar up here, but I figured since I was doing a video, I would actually put this calendar to use and fill it out the right way so that you guys didn't go crazy in the comments saying it's not March. But also because I should be using this every month, but in June, Kaysen's birthday is on the 15th and then Chance and I will be celebrating our 12 year anniversary and Father's Day on June 21st. So June is gonna be a busy and exciting month.
Now the last thing I'm going to do in this room is just vacuum really quickly and you'll probably see over there on the side wall one of the signs fell off the wall and I just didn't put it up today and we also have our old Roomba that we need to get rid of because it has been dead for a really long time and not working. And you guys also have a bunch of poster boards from doing a bunch of birthday parades because that's what those were for that I just stuck in that little area. So right when I finished cleaning the office, my friend Stephanie arrived with all the goodies in her trunk and so I helped her unload. We did the little decorating video for her channel and then I cleaned up the rest of the decor that we did not use. So here's a little sneak peek of what she did in her video and I just can't wait for you guys to see how it all turned out. I'm so obsessed with all of the decor. Alright, so the last thing that I'm going to do is put up all of this decor and I have a ton of stuff that was still up from spring. I feel like I'm so late with decorating this year and I still have other rooms to get ready for summer and all of that, but that'll have to happen in a few weeks probably. But I'm putting all of this decor away for spring and then I also put some of my everyday decor in the same bucket and then I'll be done. All right, y'all, so that is it for this cleaning video. I hope you got tons of cleaning motivation from it. And I just wanna say a quick thank you to everyone for all of your support over on Instagram. You guys have been so, so sweet. And here in the comments, you guys are always amazing. I love you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.